Hi again and welcome to this new lecture. In the previous lecture we talked about errors in general and I focused on syntax errors which is one of the two types of errors you have in Python. So you have syntax errors and you have exceptions. Now we're going to talk about exceptions in Python. So every other type of error that is not a syntax error is an exception. And often um, all errors, syntax errors and exceptions, they are referred to as errors. So you're going to hear this all over the place. Now I have a new script here that I created for this lecture. Mm, try to guess what I'm going to get as output when I, when I execute this script. So I have a equals to one, b equals to character two, print int uh, 2.5 and print a plus b. So guess what I'm going to get for a moment. Okay, now let me run the script, python3, errors.py. Hmm. File errors.py, line 4, which is the last line, this one, we get a syntax error, invalid syntax. Now this can be very confusing for you now, because, you know, you're looking at the print a plus b, expression but you don't see any error there so for a beginner this can be quite frustrating but try to look back on the left of the arrow here so think of the arrow that the arrow is pointing at the token and the token has not been written correctly in the script so in this case you know what the problem here is that this line here it has an open bracket round bracket and then it has the int function and then the int function has its own brackets that is uh, wrapping inside its input so these are the brackets of the int function but the print function doesn't have a closing bracket uh, what you did instead what i did actually what i did is that instead of putting a bracket there i actually wrote, uh, wrote uh, another print function so python was expecting a, bra a closing round bracket but I wrote, I typed in a print function that's why this is saying that this print function is not in the correct position <laughs> that's the idea so always when you see this arrow first look at this line but then look uh, before that also sorry about this so always when you see this arrow here uh, first look at this line here but also don't forget that the problem might also be before this line. Okay, so that was about the syntax error. I'll explain why I talked about this syntax error here. Let me execute this again. So the syntax error was fixed now, but we still have another error. So the reason I included a syntax error in my code was to show you that Python actually first checks for syntax errors so basically it parses the code, it looks for syntax errors, it doesn't execute the code yet. So when I executed python3errors.py in here, the code was not executed, but the interpreter just checks for syntax errors. It, it doesn't check for exceptions just yet. So first you need to fix the syntax errors, and that's what we did here. We added this bracket and we fixed the syntax errors. Now Python is throwing out an exception. And let's here is where i executed the code and see the next line we have number two there which is coming from the output of this line here so from line three we got the output correctly so basically again python executes script from top to bottom um, if it don't, if it doesn't find syntax errors if it finds syntax errors it doesn't execute anything so two is printed out and then you get this trace back of the error which starts there and ends in here. That's the block of the error. Sometimes the errors may have more than one uh, type uh, type of error. So in this case, we have only one type of error, which is a type error. But you may have uh, multiple blocks here. Uh, however, the most important error that you must focus on is the last line of the error. 
so the last block of, of the error. In this case, we have only one block, so we are focused on in that. And line 4, which is this one in here. This is the line. Again, the line is printing out, just like in the case of syntax error. And here you have a type of the error here, which is a type error. Uh, so what's a type error? A type error means that there is something wrong with uh, one of your object types in your script. And you have the description here, unsupported operand type for plus. So this is trying to say that the plus operator has an unsupported type. So the plus operator, in other words, doesn't support one of the types that you have given to it. So it either the type of, of uh, variable A or the type of variable B. So it says int and string. So it doesn't specifically say that whether int or string is the object, but it says that you cannot use a plus operator with an integer and a string. And that's, that's logically wrong because you cannot add a number to some text. That's what Python doesn't understand and it, uh, it throws a type error. So exceptions are like logical errors and you, you need to use your logic now to fix the error. And you use your logic by carefully inspecting the error uh, and that's what we did. Uh, so what you, uh, we want to do, we want to fix this. Now it's up to me whether whether I meant to concatenate these two objects or uh, do a mathematical addition uh, operation. So uh, let's say if, if I, I was intending to do an addition between these two numbers, then I would have to convert b to a float or, in, or an integer. I'll save that. Execute. And yeah, in this case you don't get any error. You get two printed out from the second, uh, from the third line, and 3.0 from the last line that we have just fixed. However, if my intention was to actually uh, print out the concatenation between these two strings, instead of uh, converting B to a float, I would have to convert A to a string. In this case, I would get the text 1 and 2. 1 and 2. So that would be a string object, not a number. Even though here it shows as a number. It's just how the terminal prints it out. So again, these uh, are errors that occur in runtime, so when the script executes. Syntax errors are parsing errors, so the interpreter tries to understand whether the script is syntactically correct whether you are full, whether you have followed the Python syntax rules. So you need a bracket, a closing bracket for opening bracket, you need a closing quote after the opening quote, and so on. Now there are also other types of uh, exceptions, not only type error. You know, you may have a name error. Let's say here, instead of printing out that, we print out C. Save, execute. And here is a traceback. Again, two was printed out from uh, the third line. And the traceback says uh, line four at print C. Name error name C is not defined. So again, this is not a syntax error because you haven't made any mistakes with the syntax. You know, you have this variable name, which is correct. You have brackets, opening uh, round brackets and closing round brackets. So everything is syntactically correct, but this C object, Python doesn't know this. You haven't defined this C variable, so Python doesn't know what to print out. You know, Python is able to print out A because it, it knows that uh, A refers to the one, uh, to integer one, and so it prints out integer one, but C doesn't have anything, so you get this name error. And whenever you get a name error, you know that this name here has not been defined by you. So to fix this, you may want to define C like that and execute and you don't get any error. You may also have other types of errors such as C divided by zero. See what you get. A zero division error, division by zero. 
that's the description of this error. So division by zero is not mathematically possible or meaningful. And since Python is based on mathematics, then <laughs> it throws an error. You and you need to fix that. You need to remove that expression that divides by zero. And yeah, that's about errors in Python. I hope you understood a great deal of this lecture and the previous lecture as well. So it's relatively easy to fix errors. However, sometimes, uh, however, sometimes there are errors that you uh, might have difficulties understanding and fixing them. So later, for example, we're going to work on libraries and sometimes libraries, they have different kinds of errors. However, nothing to worry about because there are other things that you can do for an error that you don't understand. And I'll talk about that in the next lecture. So I'll see you there. See you.